Good morning. We're at Sam Hostix today. We're fishing the uh, little Kingfisher Lake. Uh, there's a generator over there pumping water, so you'll have to excuse the noise. Harry's in the, the corner peg. I've already seen fish on top. Um, I've had fish down the edge. I'll probably start three quarters of the way across on Waggler and then I'll feed the inside line and maybe drop a bomb down a bit later. Well, it's uh, half past six at the moment, so going to get set up. I mean, there's plenty of silvers topping. Get set up and then we'll take it from there. First cast, um, about three quarters of the way across. It's about three and a half foot deep. Uh, quite a few bubbles coming up around the float, so I'm fishing single corn at the minute. Uh, at some hostics, you're very restricted with your bait. You can fish corn. Plain pellet, no colours, uh, plain paste, maggots, and casters and worm, and I think that's it. Today I'm the I'm on the 11 foot cap pellet waggler with a die worth 3,000 reel. Probably a bream. I will keep firing in a few pellets. <sighs> All I've got today is sweet corn and pellet. Oh, I've got a bit of paste as well, I might try that down the edge. Um, I've put, I'll show you, just down the edge here by the grass, it's a foot and a half deep. Uh, I've put some corn and some pellets down there and I'll give that a few hours and try it. That pumper get turned off. Oh, there we go, talk of the devil. Oh. I've got the unhooking mat and my net dipped. Harry did it. So that's all clean and ready. I've got the camera set up behind me just in case and get out good <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear I've just had a a, a a carp swim through the swim and I had my line on top and it caught my line and, and was dragging my rod round, but the float was over there. A few more pellets. Not a lot. I'd say it's about 10 to 12 there. That's hilarious. There's a, a pheasant and a moorhen. Squaring up to each other. Ooh. Just trying to get in the far bank. Try to keep 
keep it low. I think it could be foul hooked. I don't know, it keeps rolling on the line, I can't tell. Keep him low. Right, he must be ready now. No. Oh. head up. That looks like he's ready now. Mm. And he's in. Nice start, I'd say about four or five pounds. All oh, the hooks come out, brilliant, it's even easier. had a few bites I had that little rod start off and then that nice cap I'm just fishing just down where I said by that bit of grass I've been uh, feeding it for like an hour Surprising how much drift there is on, on the water. Oh, that was a bite. Oh. Is it going to shallow up a tad? It's only two foot deep there. deep max
Oh, oh. Whoa, I need to just set that a little bit. That was uh, instant salad up to two foot. Whoa. Just in case, you never know. God, these things fight like stink. Oh, it yeah, well, looks decent. A little common, I think. There's another fish down there as well. Trying to get under my feet. Oh. That was a, a bit lucky. bomb down the, the inside. I'm just up the edge of this grass on the inside. I thought I'd do that so it gives me a, hopefully it gives me a chance to get a coffee. I've gone on 8mm pellet. I've put a, quite a big bomb on. It's an ounce. So I want it to, to stay there. Not There is a slight slope on the inside. I've had a couple of liners already. Now, hopefully, I can actually get a coffee. And hopefully it's not as bad as it was last time. It was awful. I expect this to go instantly. I 
left a, a slackish line. I don't want it too tight. I don't want them to feel any resistance when they pick it up. And the, the rod I'm using is the uh, uh, Corum Phase 1, 10 foot. I've got, I think it's a 2 ounce tipping. 8 pound line, size 14 hook, and I'm using the Corum Phase 1 reel. Well, that was a, a vicious tear around. Oh, this sun is a nightmare. I was just getting ready to put my sunglasses on and it went. Couple of pound. Pain in the ass. There we go. Oh, lovely jubbly. I just don't really don't know how much you can see with this sun in my face. He's ready to go. Oh. Right, fishing bomb three quarters of the way across. I, I want a fish down the inside, but the sun's exactly where my tip is at the minute so I just can't see it so I've just put another rod rest in down here and I'm put it out there getting plenty of indication oh, there's another one could keep putting a few pellets down there down the inside Yeah, I've got an 8mm pellet on at the minute. Get a load of tap 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 taps. Which I probably skimmer bring. Is in. Was well, it a rod? see anything because of the sun. Loads of cap on the top. And then if I get this in, 
is now a 10 to 10. I will have a copper and a pasty because I still haven't had one yet. Get this ready. It's off on one. That was on double corn. Okay, we find it. There it is. Let's have a quick look at him then. Not big, but good fun. Get that out of the way. Coffee and pasty time. This one just took it on the drop. Oh, it's come off. It, it, it was not the one I was after either. I was aiming for that one that was taken off the top. I'm going shallow about a foot and a half foot deep. in case it comes in. I can't give it too much stick, I'm only on size 16 up. Oh, that's only a little in. Right past me that typical god dear. You think these were like fifteen, twenty pound? Oh, thank you. Oh. Lovely pattern on it. 
I don't think this one's going to let me pick it up. I might do. do. Brilliant. Let's get it in quickly. Any joy yet? What I've been doing is I've been firing in two or three pouches of four mils and then fishing an eight mil on top. The spoons are cut off three fish in this wind. I definitely wanted that. Eight mil pellet again. Let's get the net ready. Oh, it come off. <laughs> it come off. taps and it just went round and kept going and remember guys if you like the videos hit that like button subscribe leave a comment it helps the channel cheers it bounced off that bramble and dropped in I don't think it's very big oh, I don't know This one in and then time for a coffee. Oh. oh, I don't know. It'd probably be like a pound. What was that old guy saying? It, he was fishing the same peg. Oh, it was hey? It was hard. And he didn't do any good. in the net oh. it's got to be ready now Get in. Oh, I don't know who's more tired, him or me. Oh, I don't know, it's not bad. There we go. Should we have a 
bloody cramp in my arm. Hey, brilliant. Has he turned up yet? It's uh, two o'clock. Uh, we've been here since half six, so it's going to be time to wrap up now. And remember, hit that like button, subscribe, help the channel. Cheers.